Now only on News 5. Parents of a Baldwin County teen who died in a crash want to give back to his high school community. They're organizing a scholarship that they say embodies their son's heart. News 5's Brianna Hollis has been following the Johnson family since the 19-year-old passed away last year. Goose Johnson died in a crash not too long after he graduated high school here at Central Christian. Faculty and staff, though, remember him like he was just in these halls yesterday. When I think of Goose, I think of his uh, irresistible smile, uh, his heart for helping people. But what Goose Johnson was even more known for was something very specific and not necessarily typical. He's, you know, big in the tractors. Did not like being in the classroom all that much. It wasn't really his favorite place to be. So he would always volunteer and say, Miss McKenzie, can I take out the trash? So I would let him do that. He was laser focused at what he wanted to do. He wanted to work with heavy equipment. He actually used said heavy equipment to help build the school's baseball field. He helped us do all kinds of stuff. He loved heavy equipment, and he would bring heavy equipment out here and work. Everyone, and I mean every single person we interviewed, told that story about Goose. Uh, he would come up with his um, skid steer, and he would just help us all day long out there as much as he could out there on the fields. So we're looking, we're going to have a scholarship that will almost mimic Goose's lifestyle. Maybe the criteria may be a little out of the box representing Goose's, uh, Goose's heart. We've always loved Central Christian and what it stands for, and we just wanted to give back. His life had an end date. His legacy won't. Goose, I miss you. Fly high. For more information on that scholarship, as well as how to donate, which does include t-shirt sales, visit the story online in the Baldwin County tab of WKRG.com. Reporting in Robertsdale, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.